here so as you guys know I haven't made an animal video in a long long time and I'm actually focusing on doing more Minecraft videos nowadays nowadays um but um yeah I just want to make this quick update and I'll actually be starting another channel just on my actual animals um it's gonna be called nature boy but that won't be coming out for a little little bit longer and as you can see I've got a little fun on, on my back you guys oh, haven't seen her in a long time so oh, oh you don't like that so, yeah she makes this little sound when she doesn't like things so it's really hard when I'm holding a camera here, here. there you go so this is little foot she's about a year and a half old now it, it's insane because when I, last time she was on camera she was like seven months old and she was like half the size she is now she's about almost 10 inches now i'd say so like my my hands are about well, i would say i don't know somewhere around 10 inches i don't know and she's about she's longer than my hands um she's just absolutely massive to this point she just shed last night so this is the brightest you can probably see her and last time you guys saw her we weren't for sure that if it was a male or a female but we are for sure now that uh she is female to this point yes yeah, we are for sure she is female because if you guys have ever um looked at a leopard gecko um you can tell by the size there usually the males have big bulges right here by the tail base and she doesn't have very big bulges at all so we've uh, really classified i've went to a few experts at uh our local herpetological society around here and uh, uh i think like i saw three experts about her and they said that they were all pretty sure that she was female i was for sure for a while that she was male but no she was female um but um yeah so this is the update about littlefoot here let me show her your her enclosure really quick so Littlefoot's enclosure here is um right here. It is large, and uh, I actually never made a uploaded the video on us putting Eco Earth in here. I just didn't really feel like it. I just not. I was just. I just didn't like filming it. So she's got her water dish. She actually got a new hide. The coconut hide is over here. We're actually thinking about getting another baby gecko. That might not happen until this fall, but we're thinking about it right at the moment. But, um, yeah. So we have uh, her right here. She's got a new rock hide and her water dish, as usual, and her big hide and her fern and her cactus. And the same poop spot as usual. And so, yeah, she's got her plants, and she's got the gecko park there. It's a gecko park thing that uh, I got custom uh, leave made. Um, so, uh, yeah, and we've got her thermometers up there, and she's, she usually hangs out in there just because it's really dark. And there's her deep food bowl for mealworms. And so, uh, yeah, that's Littlefoot's enclosure. Um, everybody, we're gonna do more of Littlefoot's stuff on my Nature Boy channel. But um, look at her, look at her, little foot. Say hi to everyone. Look at her clear eyes and look at her little nose. So cute. But yeah, just one quick scan. She's got her. I think she's a tangerine Max Snow, but because of that uh, orange at that tail base, I I've always thought she was a carrot tail. So I think she's maybe a like tangerine Max Snow carrot tail hybrid or something, something like that. I think her like mom was half like tangerine max snow and carrot tail and her dad was full tangerine max snow or something something like that but she has a little carrot tail in her but um yeah that's little foot everyone and uh this is probably the last time she'll appear on raptor blue um but she'll be on nature boy a lot so um that's little foot um little foot say bye to raptor blue little foot ah. Okay, she doesn't want to really say goodbye. Okay, that's little foot guys. Um, let's actually move on to my red foot tortoises here. I've never featured them on my channel before, but um, yeah. So we're gonna go check them out now. All right, guys. So this is my tortoise enclosure right here. So on Nature Boy though, we'll be going on thorough care for all the animals we have here. Um, and so right here, let's just do a full cage enclosure or enclosure tour so we've got their food bowl right there with some zucchini that i put in this morning 
And then we've got their water dish, and then we've got their UVA heat light right there, and then we've got their thermometer right here. Oh, wow, it's hot in there. But that's normal for a basking spot for a red-foot tortoise. And here's their UVB light that's not warm if, like, you got... <coughs> Oh, that, that's like really hot right there. And they've, they usually hide in there. They don't like to hide in this big hiding spot in here. But, um, yeah, and they've got, they usually, um, the, what, the, re the reason why that we have those leaves there, I originally didn't have those there, but the tortoises actually was using the side there to climb up. And, well, it was really only one tortoise, but, um, so I stopped them there by putting those leaves there. So after I put them there, they, uh, didn't do it so when they got up there they actually didn't go back down this um they actually went up top there fell off right there it was in a ramp and then they flipped themselves over and like tortoises can die like that so i knew i had to do something about that so i watched them for a long time and realized they were getting up through here to fall over so i put that there and I haven't had a problem with it since. So, hey, we're gonna go find the tortoises. Their names are Ruby and Raspberry. I just redid this whole thing here. Oh, I already see one right here. Right here. Oh, hi. So, right here. Oh, she's got some stuff on her here. Right there. So, this is Ruby. Okay, so this is Ruby. Here, let me clear it up right there. All right, there we go. So, this is Ruby. She is a red foot tortoise right there she's about i think eight months old to this point now so um yeah here we'll look for her friend raspberry and you can tell the difference because the shells are very different oh and here she is right now oh i thought i was gonna have to dig but no so this is raspberry and as you can see the shells are very very different and so this is uh, Raspberry. She is actually younger than Ruby by about three weeks. And so the reason why she, she's actually a lot bigger is because I think Ruby is actually male and Raspberry is female because the females are a lot bigger than the males. But we're not sure for right now. But yes, as you can tell, this is Ruby. This is Raspberry. They're very different and they just like to move. So she is about six and a half months. She is about seven almost seven and a half months. I got them from a breeder called Redfoot Ranch down in Florida. Um, give him a call. He's a really good breeder. He hooked me up nice with these guys and um, yeah, he'll he'll do really good. He'll make sure these guys come alive and well. But make sure you do your research before then. But if you're gonna get a Redfoot tortoise, contact him. He is awesome. And so, um, yeah, so um, yeah, we got uh, these little guys here. They don't like being handled, obviously. Unlike Littlefoot up there, she loves being handled for the past uh, night, uh, almost, I think, like, it's, wow, it's been, like, a year now since we've got, no, it's been over a year. It's been, like, a year and, like, four months since we got Littlefoot. Seems like, yes, seems like a month ago, pretty much, like, a week ago or something, like, when I picked her out from the store. Um... And so, yeah, so these are ruby and raspberry. Um, I actually did some differences. And I did some research, and the reason why their shells are so different, I thought they were brother and sister, brother, sister, or sisters, and, and or brothers and brothers. But um, it's actually because um, the redfoot tortoises are different in each country where they're from. They're found in... They're, in, they're found in Brazil, Colombia, and Equator, Equator, I think, and um, Crete. Crete, I think, and um, it's because each shell from different countries has a different shape, and I actually thought Ruby's shell was deformed at this time because I knew normal redfoots always kind of looked like raspberries, and I actually found out that she is a Colombian redfoot tortoise, and Colombian tortoises are really uncommon in captivity, so I thought, oh my god, I can't believe how I got, I got like a, a rare Colombian tortoise um, just off the bat. And this, she, Raspberry here is the common Brazilian tortoise that is usually sold around. And so, yeah, so that that is the Redfoot tortoises. And they've got their giant moss pile right there that they can hide in. They can hide under that log, too. So that is the Redfoot tortoises. So um, these guys, this is the only time they'll be featured on Raptor Blue. Um, So they'll be featured a lot on Nature Boy. So say bye to the Redfoot tortoises. Guys, say bye. Say bye.
What are you doing, newbie? You look like you're about to take a load off or something. Like, gonna take a nap or something. I don't know, but they want to go back to bed, so it's like... What is it? It's like 8 o'clock at night or something. They should be sleeping right now. So, um, yeah, let's move on to the goldfish. Alright, guys, so this is the goldfish tank. And as you know, this is Juliet, um, our goldfish. And actually, probably the last video, animal video I made was that we got a new friend for her silver, the baby pond koi. <sighs> I, I don't like to talk about this because it really makes me feel guilty and sad about this. But, um, about a month after I made that video, um... I was doing a partial water change, and I got the water all the way to down here. And because the water was absolutely disgusting, and because I hadn't done a full water change in, like, almost two years at that time. This was, like, uh, like five months ago. And so, I, I did uh, almost a full water change. The water got down here, and I actually took them out and moved them into this small little thing here. And so, actually, they got really stressed in that thing, of course. I mean, why wouldn't they? But I had to do a full water change. So when I put them back and I dechlorinated the water, and um, S Silver actually jumped out and flip-flopped all the way over there, like right there. So I was like, oh my god, they're insane. I gotta put them back. So I didn't wait all long enough for the um, dechlorinator to set in, and... Um, they were swimming around, and all of a sudden, I thought Juliet was going to die too, but um, Silver was flipping over, and then eventually um, flopped up there and bumped the lid, like, up to here. She She's crazy. She was a crazy fish. And uh, then after she hit the lid, she sank down there. That was the last of her. And so she just, she was cool and just sat down there for three hours until the dechlorinator finally settled in um to her and so here she is she's alive well but um ever since then i've felt really guilty that i put them back in that early i feel like i killed her in some way so i hate i hate telling this story i feel so guilty about it and it really it really makes me feel like i i killed a like a, a life or something it, it just it just makes me feel really really bad and so yes I'm really sorry about that, but um, ever since then we haven't had a friend with her, and actually I've been trying to hand train her, so I actually do this twice a day, in the morning and in the afternoon. And... Sorry guys, I had to cut there for a minute, but um, yeah, so we do training sessions for her, and I guess I'm her, like, new friend, pretty much. So, um, yeah, so we're cool, we're cool. But uh, I actually went to the uh, fish store a few days ago, and um, they were actually all out of uh, fish because I was going to get her a miniature uh, fancy gold fancy-tailed goldfish. Um, that uh, That's about half her size. She wouldn't be able to harm it, but uh, they'd make good friends, but they were all out of them at the store. So um, I couldn't get any. I'm hoping to get the one for her by the end of all, by the end of this month, maybe. But, um, yeah, so, uh, so I don't have to be there, like, five times a day as her friend, but, um, yeah, so that's her, this is her last time on the Raptor Blue, but, um, say bye, Juliet, say bye, it's been a long experience. Oh, yep, there we go, there's the goodbye swim, alright, so now let's move on to the community tank. Alright guys, so my community tank's a little dark because actually my light broke. And again, for some reason, because it's quarantine and everyone's looking to do something, they were out of lights as well as goldfish. <laughs> and so, they did not have any, so I'm going to have to wait another few weeks like the goldfish to um, get a new light. But um, before we do this again, um, you guys might be wondering what happened to the beta fish. Um... Guys, so about, I'd say it's been a month to this point, our male beta fish, Jordan, sadly passed away. He um, went through a good and also rough and terrible life. 
And so not terrible as in um the first terrible was at Pet Supplies Plus when I got him. He was basically dead pretty much when I got him. I bought him for my sister for her sixth birthday um almost three years ago that's that's crazy to think about and he was already like almost a year old to that point because he was definitely an older guy and my he was the prettiest beta there but he was basically dead i didn't really want to get him at pet supplies plus but you know um uh, my local store um old town aquarium as it's called um actually shut down was and was relocating at the time so i had really no other choice and my sister's birthday was around the corner so we got my pet supplies plus and so also too guys just to let you know pet smart pet co and pet supplies plus the chain stores that you often go to never buy your animals there they are terrible look for a local breeder like mine reptile breeders curious creatures and my fish breeder is old town aquarium and so um well, the Old Town Aquarium move was actually kind of better for me just because they moved about, um, I think four miles closer to where I live. So that, w that worked out pretty good for me. And so, yeah, so that, that's really nice. So Jordan passed away, um, after the rough of being at Pet Supplies Plus and the rough that Pink did. So Pink, we moved. Pink was always an aggressive fish. I mean, Rainbow Wet, our old fish beat up on her before she, when she was all nice and then she learned... You gotta, if you want to survive, you gotta be the toughest, so, she was always really mean, every, I, before we put her in here fully, um, and she didn't harm anyone, let me tell you the story in a minute, um, there, oh, there she is right now, she's a very friendly beta fish who doesn't bite anymore around the community tank, um, and her best friend is actually, um, my friend Elias, as you know him from Camp Elias, it's his platinum, and actually all of his friends died, and, um, basically, Pink's friends, she beat to death, and so, and they're both really, both aggressive, so they make a good pair, so, yeah, so the story is, um, uh, I actually thought for a while of Pink, putting Pink in with Juliet and making her her friend, but I knew that would never work out because Juliet's, like, 15 times her size, and so I actually did something that, most people wouldn't be happy by, but it was for the best to tame her out, and it was the only way to. I guess I put her in here for four hours, and Juliet would suck on the back of her, and she'd get scared away and hide behind the filter. And it was really the best way to tame her. And so, yeah, that's it. We tamed her that way, and then when we put her in here, she got scared at first for the first week. Then she came out, and she was all friendly. And yeah, so that's the beta fish story. Sad ending for our male. Um, we might get another beta fish male in the future, but probably not for a long time. Pink will probably be the only beta fish here for probably the next year or so. Probably until Pink dies would probably be until our we get our next beta fish. But um, yeah, Pink's gonna live another uh two to maybe five years or something. But, um, we've actually got baby guppies in here. It's, uh, hard to see. They're actually mosquito fish, but they're a guppy-mosquito fish hybrid. Um, and so, yeah, my female mosquito fish does, like, let's see if we can find it right there. Um, she is pregnant for about three weeks, and then she gives birth, but she, since she, her, um, pregnancy is so short for a guppy, it's, um, actually, like... She only delivers, really, the average is about 50 for a, gup, for a mosquito fish uh, for a birth, but she only gives birth to about 10 since her pregnancy is uh, that short every time. And so the, in here, there's about 12. This is about the most she's ever given birth to me, actually. And so, yeah, so this is the community tank. And also, too, uh, just one more thing before I close off this video. Um, I... Got a cactus! Wait, no, that's not it, but I did get a cactus. But, um, yeah, um, uh, unfortunately, you guys know him, the famous, awesome male guppy that I had. His name was Joey Slam, and his brother, Joey M. Slam. The brother bros, mean guppies, males. Really good, big, cool guy that you guys probably won't, either don't or do remember. Joey Slam died on St. Patrick's Day in March.
a long while ago, but yeah, it was very, very sad. I was very sad, and his brother Joey M. Slam died um, on Easter Day, so I had this really big problem. I, I To this point, I'm actually scared for the holidays, because not every holiday, but some holidays, like most holidays when my animals die, like most days when my animals die, it's a holiday. Like, the first one was Rainbow, my original beta here, um, died on a, like, what was it? It was like, it was Christmas Day, um, 2018, and, um, it all started there, and then everything just went downhill from then. It was like Easter after that, and it was like, I don't, I don't remember, I think, I think a, uh, what was it? It was some sort of, I think I... I don't know, it was some sort, I, it was like, like two, it was like a female guppy, um, died, um, that, on that Easter, and, but, after that, um, then it was Joey Slam on March, um, on St. Patrick's Day, and then it was Easter again for Joey M. Slam, and so, yeah, um, I've got a lot of fish in here on my new channel, though Nature Boy will describe more, make sure to subscribe if you to that channel. It, the first video is coming out the first, for Nature Boy, is coming out the first day of uh, uh, August, and so, yeah, everything will be here, um, and uh, it's gonna be really exciting, and so that's really everything, guys. So I hope you all enjoyed that pet update. Sad, also happy that we got new tortoises and new fish, and um, also too, uh, just, just in the enlightenment of a uh, Joey Slam's death, we actually have several, we have, I think, close to 27 offspring from him, um, almost 27 offspring, I think I have 6 males offspring from him, and I think I have, the rest of them are all female, so, and a few of the, f I gave two of the males to a few friends, and I gave um, half of the females, I, I, ha I kept half the females and half the males, so I basically gave away half of the guppies, pretty much, um, but, um, the Joey Slam Jr., the, my favorite fish in that tank, he's in there, but, um, yeah, guys, on that note, there's a lot more to tell you guys, but I don't want, I've really told so much to this point, I could just talk for hours to this point, but, um, I'm just really happy to make one more pet video for this channel, and make sure to subscribe to Nature Boy, which the channel will be created in about a week, but I won't be making any videos until then. I'll make a two-minute video, though, in, a, in like, on on the first day of August when the first video comes out, but, um, yeah, on that note, thank you for watching. I could go on for hours, like I said. Um, I've said so much already, but, um... Yeah, that's it for pet videos on Raptor Blue, and um, I'll see you guys later. Bye. <laughs>